a noble couple have rescued over 60 abandoned and abused stray cats in the UAE. Now, someone wise once said, kindness is giving hope to those who think they're alone in this world. And just thinking you want to be better and more giving uh, doesn't cut it anymore. It's actions that count and everyone speaks, but only a few make an effort. And a perfect example of unconditional giving and speaking through actions is this noble Dubai-based Indian couple who embarked on a mission to bring hope and happiness to abandoned and neglected cats. And it might give inspiration to more people to do the same because this couple, they had no prior experience in cat rescue. They stepped out of their comfort zone, opened their hearts and home to the furry creatures in need. And over the past five years, they have selflessly given their time, energy and resources to provide shelter, food and love to over 60 cats, which is just amazing, giving them a second chance of life. So this is a story of love, compassion and the unwavering commitment to make a difference in the lives of the helpless souls who they find across the paths. So the duo have seen some horrific cases of animal abuse and we'll just name out a few instances. So there was a cat uh, called June who was shot twice with gun pellets and Casper, a Persian cat who saw whose paws were intentionally wrapped with a rubber band and whose face was kicked multiple times. So very heavy, heavily abused. And the duo want to spread the message that, not, or that all animals deserve love and kindness and humanity extends to all living beings and not just humans. and they're requesting the community to be more friendly towards animals and not treat them as pests. And caring for stray uh, stray cats can make a huge difference in their lives. So anyone who has taken on this initiative knows that the cost of caring for strays is not cheap and they spend around 700 dirham on cat litter, uh, 1200 dirham for stray feedings and 1500 for the cats in their home and much more when taking cases to the vet for medical treatments. If you follow any of the local animal shelters, sometimes they share their costs and it's sky high. So despite the expenses, the satisfaction of saving a life is priceless. So what they're doing is truly noble. And has it inspired you? It really has. And I feel like we have so many of these stories coming in, like, you know, the stray dog shelter and stray cat shelter. And, uh, you know, the kind of um, uh, scenarios they see, all these like instances that happen to these animals. And it's so heartbreaking. And the fact that they really put in so much effort, like the volunteers, like they put in their money, effort, time, uh, you know, so much love into nursing these uh, animals back to health. It's just so commendable. And I feel like anything we can do as a community to contribute, be it like for relief efforts or for animals or anything, you know, we really should if we have the capacity. I'm really glad, uh, so Simran went deep into the story and I'm really glad you did because what sometimes happens is like the stories that you'll see are the stories that make the big headlines. So typically in news, the most engaging ones might be the most sad or the most tragic or the most horrific story of potentially an animal who was shot or was abused or beaten badly. But there's so many other cases of animals who just got left behind and they don't always make the headlines. And that's kind of what this story is, is that like, it's like obviously there's some, but like in some cases, animals are just left to fend for themselves and people jump in. And it's those like local community heroes that deserve all the support because they're jumping in so selflessly and so needlessly. And then it could give us inspiration to do the same if we can. So if you have the opportunity to adopt rather than shop, certainly do that. Or failing that, if you could potentially foster, you could do that too. Exactly, so well said. And it just comes back to the point of like adopt, not shop, because it's so important and people breed their pets and they just like, you know, want to have puppies, but they don't understand the importance of just like catering to those in need first. You know, like there's so many stray puppies that, you know, you can just give a loving and caring home to. Oh, oh yeah. Move on. <laughs> Love doggies.